Hi boys and girls, welcome back to our Parsha studio. In honor of Tu Bishvat this week, we are going to make a blossoming tree painting. Here are the supplies which we'll need. A glue stick, scissors, the printed tree template found in the resources attached to this video, a sheet of brown cardstock, strips of quilling paper in various shades of pink, a canvas, a few q-tips, white, pink, and light blue paint, a paintbrush, and a pencil or pen. Let's get started. Begin by painting the entire canvas blue. This will be our sunny sky background. While you're painting, I have a little story to tell you. Once upon a time, there was a farmer who wanted to grow a tree filled with leaves and fruit. But to accomplish this, the farmer needed to do many steps. First, he planted the seed in the ground, then he watered the seed every day. Slowly, with enough water and sun, the seed became a small sapling, and from a sapling to a little tree, and finally, a strong, large tree with beautiful branches and delicious fruit. Now take the print out of the tree and place it on top of the brown cardstock. Trace the tree pressing down hard with a pencil or pen. Doing so should enable you to see the outline of the tree trunk on your cardstock. Then carefully cut out the tree shape. Alternatively, if you want to save yourself this additional step of tracing, you can print the tree image directly onto a piece of white cardstock and then cut it out. What if I told you we are just like trees? Just like trees, we too can have long beautiful branches and delicious fruit. Our branches are the mitzvot and good deeds that we do. Just like a tree with lots of branches is a healthy tree, a person with lots of mitzvot is a shining and strong individual. As for the fruit, this symbolizes the positive influence we have on others to do good things. Inspiring someone else to do a mitzvah helps them grow their tree the same way a fruit contains seeds from which another tree can be planted. But the same way the farmer had to work hard and consistently put an effort for the tree to grow, the same thing applies to our Avodah Hashem, the Torah and mitzvahs we do. For our tree to grow big and strong, we need to put an effort regularly. For example, if we want to become better at saying brachos on food, the way to ingrain that in ourselves is by practicing these brachos every day. Now using your glue stick, glue the tree trunk to the bottom of the canvas, making sure the paint is not too wet. Smooth down each branch of the tree to make sure it sticks and stays down. Now it's time to create blossoms on the tree. Dip a Q-tip into the pink paint and make several dots on or around the tree. Sprinkle a few on the ground at the bottom of your canvas. These will be the blossoms that have fallen to the ground. Then do the same with the white paint. If you'd like, you can choose to mix or mesh the white and pink paints to create a slightly more realistic effect. Back to our earlier discussion, here's another example of how we can work consistently to become better. If our goal is to become stronger in the mitzvah of Ava Sisral, then the way to success is by practicing kind words every day at school or home. It doesn't become a habit right away, but by working at it day in and day out, slowly that tree is going to grow and become stronger each day. Growing branches on our tree not only makes us stronger and better, but it also makes the entire world a better place. This Tu as we celebrate the birthdays of the trees, you can think about what actions you can take to make your tree and your mitzvah branches grow stronger. Next, we are going to create more blossoms for our tree using a special technique called paper quilling, which is a method of creating beautiful designs and shapes by rolling thin strips of paper. Choose which color paper strip you'd like to begin with, then roll it tightly. Begin by folding it a tiny bit over on one end, then keep folding it over or roll it until you have a small round shape of rolled up paper. You can use a bit of glue to seal off the end of the roll. Do the same with each strip of paper using all the shades of pink and white. The rolls can be of different sizes. It adds variety to the art when they are not all the same. Apply glue on one side of each paper roll blossom and stick it on the tree. Make sure to put enough glue so it will stick. If you're finding it doesn't stick very well, you can use liquid glue for this part. Stick on all the paper rolls until you are satisfied with the number of blossoms on the tree. If you wish, you can add white clouds in the sky with a Q-tip and the remainder of your white paint. They can be fluffy clouds or wispy clouds, whatever you think suits your painting. And with that, we're all done. Enjoy your beautiful piece of art. Happy Tu Bishvat and hope to see you next week at our Parsha studio.